What's up, people? Wanted to show you a little tip again. I'm gonna try to do this every week when I come across something that maybe it's not common or anyway, something something that maybe could help at least one of you guys out there. So I'm doing this 316N, uh, WA316N. Super difficult color, I'm sure everybody knows that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you how I spray this, okay? I spray it on an angle, and I'm gonna show you how I do that, all right? So pay attention in the way that my gun is moving. Don't look at the gun, look at what the gun is doing, all right? Here we go. I'm 19 PSI, all right? You saw what my gun is doing? I was doing this, sideways, all right? I wasn't doing this, I was doing this. Sometimes on a difficult color like this, that's what you gotta do, and it works for me, okay? So you can try it, see if it works. I'm gonna clear this, and then I'll show you how it looks like after clear, all right? All right, there we go. So, this, this is a bland panel and there's chips and stuff everywhere. So like this, this car was a mess, okay? It was painted before. But we managed to get it done nicely. There's no base here. I put one coat of clear, right? I put one coat of clear up to here and then the rest there. But it looks great. So biggest thing here is try it. See if it works for you, all right? You can start the drop like that as well. If you got, I had a primer spot here, right? So I just, I was blending that way the whole time. And then make sure you're tacking this, every coat up to your control coat. After your control coat, don't tack anymore. There we go, we got a nice uniform finish. That was three coats of base and a double control coat. And it looks great. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It's not perfect, but the best that it could be in my opinion so there you go there you have it hopefully that's helpful that's a tip of the week for you motivated painters out there let me know in the comments what you think um, if you dislike this video can you please send me an email tell me why you put the thumbs down I would love to know I mean I don't know obviously this is not on a in a garage obviously this is not outside so I obviously a lot of people may not be able to relate to this video or but you can still apply the principles the principles that I'm trying to teach you here right um, you can do everything I said today regardless of where you're spraying the car right so this is what I do every day I'm I paint at a body shop so it's that's what i can teach right so anyways guys god bless you take care see you next time peace